Uh, at the top of 3 p.m., we continue to get you all the latest updates. Let's begin with this edition with some news coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. Now, the Jammu and Kashmir Pradesh Congress Committee has passed a resolution urging Rahul Gandhi to become the Congress president. Jammu and Kashmir now becomes the fourth state to pass a resolution of this nature. You remember there are pending elections uh, for the Congress party. The entire, uh, you know, uh, talk of getting a new Congress president, a non-Gandhi president. Will that really be true or this is in this entire electoral process internally is a sham? Cutting across to my colleague Tejinder who is with us on the broadcast. Tejinder, tell us more about this resolution. Uh, yes, Anusha, you see, uh, this is uh, Jammu and Kashmir rather has become the fourth uh, unit of the Congress across the country. Earlier, three states had passed a similar resolution. Today uh, afternoon, this resolution was moved by the Congress leaders here in Jammu. And uh, now the resolution has been passed. And almost every Congress leader from Jammu and Kashmir who was present at uh, the meeting, they, they voted in favor of the resolution. So this uh, resolution stands passed with uh, utmost majority at uh, the, the, the meeting which was held at uh, Jammu. Uh, be between where, where the senior leaders of the Congress party in Jammu and Kashmir, they were president, the newly uh, elected uh, chief of Jammu and Kashmir Pradesh Congress Committee, Vakar Rasul Wani was also present uh, besides the Jammu and Kashmir in charge and member parliament, hmm. Rajani Patel was also present. This uh, resolution, they empowered Sonia Gandhi that she should uh, uh, select Rahul Gandhi as the president of the Congress party. So, Jammu and Kashmir Pradesh okay. Congress has entered into the league of uh, the, the, the Congress uh, teams across the country who are now in favor of Rahul Gandhi becoming <laughs> the Congress president. So it seems that uh, these uh, Pradesh Congress committees, they are trying to give an easy way for Rahul Gandhi uh, to become the Congress president, bypassing the election. You see several uh, senior Congress leaders uh, who have already left the party or some of those who are still in the party, they have been uh, saying that there should be transparency in electing or selecting the Congress president. There has been a tussle going on. We saw several senior yeah. leaders within the Congress party raising their voice for a transparency while electing the Congress president. But uh, these uh, state units are now giving, uh, it seems that an easy way for Rahul Gandhi to become the Congress chief. Yes. All right, Ashinder. And I want to talk a little bit more about the internal divisions that exist within the Congress party. After the exit of tall leaders like Mr. Ghulam Nabi Azad, there have been various voices of dissent within the Congress party. In fact, within the Jammu and Kashmir state unit. Could you tell us more about those differences? Is the party unanimous in the demand or perhaps there are voices of dissent? Uh, yes, you see, uh, yeah, even in Jammu and Kashmir, there were voices uh, within the party who opposed who used to say that there should be transparency within uh, the Congress party while they elect their top uh, post, uh, that is the president of the Congress party. But most of those uh, leaders who were opposing Rahul Gandhi, they have now left the Congress party in Jammu and Kashmir and uh, they have joined the bandwagon with Gulam Nabi Azad. You see, that was the only reason today when uh, the Congress party here in Jammu and Kashmir, they moved a resolution uh, urging Rahul Gandhi to become the president of the party they also did not leave an uh, opportunity to attack Gulam Nabi Azad. Hmm. He also said that uh, while Gulam Nabi Azad used to say that there should be transparency, he should have stayed within the party and see the internal election taking place. But now okay. that Gulam Nabi Azad okay. has take, uh, left the party, he has no right to speak. So clearly, yeah. Congress did not miss this opportunity to attack, attack Azad and yeah. his faction. Yes. Thank you so much, Tejinder, for getting us all the details on that very important story. From those resolutions within the Congress party, we'll continue talking about how that election